And this is the closest we've ever been to these buffalo. So today we got two tenderloins. Sorry, mine's half eaten, but they have to fold it in half just to fit it on the bun. Crazy. We're Tyler, Molly, and Moose. Travelers, van lifers, business owners, and college students, all at the ages of 21 and 22. Last summer in 2020, we got married and then spent all the money we had converting an empty cargo van that we ended up naming Stanley. After all that hard work, we visited 37 states and 25 national parks just in this last year. Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe down below to follow along our journey. We're here in Bluffton, Indiana, eating the gigantic tenderloins, also walking around with bison and seeing this quaint downtown. Grab a snack, kick back, and watch this video unfold. here at Bummy's Drive-In here in Bluffton, Indiana. It is a cute little place that you can just drive your car in, order a sandwich, order a tenderloin, the state's famous sandwich, and they are gigantic, or you can even order their famous root beer. So today we got two tenderloins, sorry mine's half eaten, but they have to fold it in half just to fit it on the bun, crazy. And then we got a large fry, but I mean, that's already eaten. <laughs> but the fry was $1.90, the sandwich is $3.35, so our whole total came to $10.11 not bad at all and the best part is is you don't even have to get out of your car the lady will come give you your meal and then take your tray and you can just pull out it's wonderful <laughs> the breaded tenderloin is super good it's very crispy and thin which I appreciate so much the bun is really um, soft and fluffy it just makes a perfect sandwich I added ketchup I don't know it's just really delicious but it has a great taste. It's not overly oily or anything. It's a great way to fuel up for the day of adventure that we have coming up. a very filling lunch of those tenderloins that were delicious. We are now heading to our next spot of the day, Wabachi State Park, one of Moose's favorite places in the world. A great outdoorsy option if you come to Bluffton. Um, just here, I think it's nine dollars to um, enter if you're non-resident, seven if you live in Indiana. But they have a lake for kayaking, paddleboarding, all that stuff. Bunch of paved trails to ride your bikes, and they have a sculpture here. Obviously, I was the model, if you can't tell. Um, but this is actually dedicated to the Civilian Conservation Corp. Um, it was a way for um, the U.S. to turn its economy around back in the 30s. And what it did during the Great Depression was give young men who wanted to work a job. They went around and cleared places like that. And so the Wabachi State Park is actually made a lot by these guys. So pretty cool. Now we are heading to our favorite part. It's actually one of the most common things to do in this area, the bison walk. You get to go and you get to hike around a bison pin. There's babies, there's moms. It is just the cutest thing. Moose goes crazy, so let's go. So the name Wabachi is a kind of interesting name, like why is it named that? It's actually based on the Wabash River, which is the state's river which runs through Bluffton. Now I'm not sure why they got the mix up of O-U-B-A-C-H-E, I believe it's French, 
and then we have the Ang Anglicanized version of W-A-B-A-S-H. I don't understand it, but either way, they both mean the same thing, <laughs> but they're spelled differently. But that's why this is named this way. Um, it's a really cool state park. We're almost to the buffalo. Let's go. Moose loves seeing the buffalo. This is the first time he ever saw him when he was just a little puppy. We always brought him here. Nothing like the ones we saw in the wind cave by far, um, but they are still so impressive to watch. Um, just massive. You can even hear him snorting every once in a while. If you'd like to see more buffalo or bison up close, go check out our wind cave vlog and our Yellowstone vlog. They both have so many of them and they're so close. You don't want to miss those. As if that is not self-explanatory, definitely don't get in the bison pen. You don't want to mess with them. <laughs> so Indiana and its plentiful grasslands and plenty of grass just in general to eat made it a beautiful home for bison. They really set up shop here way back in the day, but then we actually hunted them all out of an, into extinction and they all pushed west. So that's why you see them all over the grasslands out there and not here. They are on our state seal though, so we were really proud of them back in the day, but we didn't save them. So we have these here though, so a lot of people in the area love to come here and check out the bison. Super fun, and they just had a calf just this last summer, so it was really a big attraction as well. If you thought, what's so great about coming to Wabachi? Well, the great thing about these buffalo is you can get as close as you really, not really want, but you can get pretty close to them because you got a fence to protect you, which is nice. So let's walk down and see some of our buddies here. So I hope you guys could hear and see those things eating. They are like a vacuum on this grass. I mean, just, it's pretty crazy. Um, Moose was not scared, but just a little like, what is going on? This is the closest we've ever been to these buffalo, bison, whatever they are. So this is really cool. Um, but he wasn't scared. He is a moose after all. Isn't that right, buddy? A little bit bigger, but they are insane. So like I said, there was a little calf. So the smallest one of the bunch, that was the calf that was just born a year ago already massive but it was really funny because his mom anytime he would walk by the fence with us around would like come right in front of him and make sure that he wasn't right by the fence the protective stage never goes away super cool um wow just what a cool experience are you are you tired let's go lazy bones come on come on let's go bud good boy our time here in Bluffton, Indiana has come to an end. The tenderloins were super good. We are so full now. The buffalo were so fun to go walk around, but now it's time to go. Um, in the late fall, or the early fall, the late summer is actually something called the Bluffton Street Fair. They have pineapple whip. If you don't know what that is, it's a pineapple ice cream and it is so good. And a bunch of carnival games that you wouldn't want to miss. So if you come around that time, make sure you check that out. Um, today's budget-friendly spending analysis was 10 11 for our tenderloin meal and then seven dollars to get in here at the state park so that is a grand total of 17 11 not bad for a day in bluffton we thank you guys so much for watching yet another video in our small town series we can't wait to keep doing more of these we absolutely love them but until next time don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on the bell notifications like this video and comment down below tell us if you'd come to bluffton and if you'd be willing to get this close to bison <laughs> um, but that is going to do it for today guys thank you so much for watching we will see you in a small town again next time bye Wow, is this good? You can get it breaded or fried and or breaded eh, I have to restart. No? Yeah. Okay, come on. I have to think. <laughs> Alright, we're not gonna walk. No, I We thank you guys so much for watching our yet another Oh, look at you. Look at you.